What's up guys, this is Ashton from Muse Themes, here today to demo our Square Navigation Menu Widget. This is a really versatile navigation tool from Muse that gives you a really unique and customizable lightbox style navigation for your Muse site. I have a simple demo set up here, and if I click my menu button, you'll see that I get this really stylish and animated lightbox pop-up with lots of space to work with and links to customize. You can easily link to any page within your Muse site, as well as any external link that you'd like. You also have the option to implement your own logo file, as I've done here. And the link text, styling, as well as the menu and close buttons are all completely customizable. So it's a pretty powerful navigation tool with lots of options, but still rather simple to implement. So as always, let's jump into Muse and I'll go through some of the specifics. I'm going to start with a blank page and I'll go ahead and drag the widget out from the library. And when you do so, you'll see that we're working with these three separate widget components here. We had to split it up into three sections because there were just too many options to include in one panel. This larger one on top here is your menu controller. This is where you'll customize all the general styling options and graphics and kind of your overall setup tools for the menu as a whole. These two lower components are for both your left and right side panels of the navigation and where you're going to set up each of the links. And we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's first take a closer look at the controller. Opening the settings panel, our first section is navigation menu setup. Page background overlay color. This controls the color of the browser background that sits around the menu light box when it's expanded in the browser. So I'll go ahead and change this to maybe a darker blue. Menu logo placement. Now you have the option here to include a custom graphic file to be included on either panel of the widget. So simply select left or right from this drop down, and you can then click add file to upload your logo. I'll go ahead and add ours once again. Awesome. Menu animation gives you several options to change the flyout direction of the light box when the menu is expanded, which is pretty cool. And lastly, link alignment and padding allows you to customize the placement of the links within the menu canvas space, but I'm going to go ahead and leave everything centered for now. Now let me jump down to menu button configuration. Now you have two options here. You can use a custom button that you design yourself, which the widget comes set as default, or you can activate these styling options and have the widget generate a button for you. I typically prefer to create my own, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to drag out a simple state button from the regular Muse widget menu. And now using a right click, I'm going to select clear all styling and clear all widget contents. Now I'll go ahead and add a quick text box to our state button using my text tool. And we'll just enter some text inside. Now I won't go into too much detail, but I'll just go ahead and give this some basic styling in a different rollover state. I'll make the font uh, railway light and we'll center it. Maybe uh, make it slightly bigger. And I'll add a quick stroke to the state button. And then I'll visit my states menu and do a quick rollover state. Perfect. Now, in order to link this to our menu widget, we need to assign this button a graphic style. So with the button selected, I'll go ahead to my graphic styles panel, and we'll select this icon here to create a new style. And then we need to give it a name. I'll go ahead with menu one, and click OK. And lastly, we just need to enter that graphic style name into our widget settings panel where we just were. So back to the controller, menu button configuration, Custom button type still set, and our graphic style of menu 1. Beautiful. Now down here on our close button configuration, we have the option of using a text button or an image button in case you want to upload your own graphic. For the sake of the demo, I'll just go ahead and leave this as text. You can change the text, the sizing, and the color here as well. I'll just go ahead and leave it as the X that we currently have set. And there we go. Our controller is ready to go. I can already give this a browser preview. And we see our menu button there with a nice rollover state. And if we click, there we go. We see our logo implemented, our lightbox background color showing, and a bunch of links that we now have to customize. So let's pop back into Muse and take a look at the link setup. Both the left and right block components of this widget have identical settings panel. So I'll just go ahead and dive into the left one for the sake of the demo, just to get it set up. Your first option here is the color selection for the entire panel. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll change this to a simple green. And the rest of this section of settings allows you to style up the actual link text that we see displayed within the menu. So the font, text size, text color, all changeable here. 
And then lastly here, you need to select how many links you want active and visible on this panel. I'll just go ahead with two for the sake of the demo, but you can have up to 10 on each panel, which is pretty cool. So now down to our link setup. For each link, you simply need to enter the destination URL as well as the label for the link text. Now for the URL, as I mentioned, you can link to an external site or to any internal page of your site. So for our first one, if I wanted to link to the about page of my site, I would simply have to type about.html. For any internal page of your site, you don't need to include the HTTP in the entire web address. Just the page name followed by .html will do the trick. Now also, I'm going to go ahead and set up an about page on my site layout really quick so that the widget has somewhere to go. So we'll jump out to our plan view. We'll add a new page and we'll name it about. And let me just go ahead and change the browser fill color inside so that we can differentiate it. I'll just make, uh, we'll make this green. Back to the widget link setup. Now that we have our URL, we'll just give it a label and type about. For our second link, let's go ahead and link externally to Muse Themes. So I'll keep the full URL and we'll type www.musethemes.com and we'll label it with Muse Themes. And that's really it. We'll do a quick browser preview and we'll make sure to preview the entire site, not just one page since we are now navigating to other pages. And there we go, we'll expand our menu. We see our green coloring, our logo there still. We have our two links showing now on the left panel as we set it. We can click About, and we're instantly redirected to our green About page. And if I click back really quick, we can then also test our external link to Muse Themes. And we're taken there in a cinch. So that's our Square Navigation Menu widget. It's really powerful with lots of elements to customize and can really add some slick behavior and appearance to sites with lots of linking needed without taking up a ton of header space. So thanks again for watching, and as always, hit us up for any questions, comments, or concerns. Thanks again.